I push three. <coughs> uh, I push three as much as I can. Um, mattering the mattering what it is. If you grab a Discovery Channel internship, one of those is nice. I mean, having something on your resume that's good. But I push three because I, I want to say to them, um, <coughs> suit comes in to push human resources. I want to go into human resources. Great, do an internship as a sophomore junior. Go in there, and then they sit down and say, oh, I want to interview people. Do I have to fire people? I want them to realize that before they graduate um, and come back. And they try to find out what exactly what they want to do. But um, try things before they do that. Answer the question, too, to, to when. I'm meeting with a lot of high school students that are taking internships that are coming in. And I'm showing these seniors at Michigan State and I'm showing them here. I have a resume of a freshman. I have two internships as a high school student. Coming in, you're a senior. You've done nothing. <laughs> Let me bring that to the employer. What would they say? Not saying that you're a better person, but gaining some kind of experience. Any more questions? Anybody but the <laughs> Just joking. Well, we, we'll do that. Oh, this gentleman right here. Going back to the <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, my name is Jim Castrava, and I'm with the Mid Michigan Innovation Center in Midland. We're a business incubator and accelerator, and uh, part of a, a network called the Ribbon Re Regional Business Incubator Network. One of the things that we're working to develop is a program called Intern Central. The concept is to have one place that would be a uh, like a clearinghouse or a hub. The speaker's right over oh, the speaker's oh, over your head. Don't point it towards the speaker. Don't point it towards the speaker. Okay, <laughs> this is better. Okay. One thing that we find is that all of the colleges and universities have their intern programs, but they're kind of fiefdoms into their own. They have their own connect connections with particular employers, and they have fairly robust programs, but they all operate on their own. There is nothing that pulls them all together. So the concept that we're trying to put together is, is one where there is one central clearinghouse that all of the colleges and universities, this, this would be all of mid-Michigan, northern Michigan, all the way to the bridge, uh, would pool their resources and put all that information together. I'm wondering, is there something like that already that's going on? In other words, if, if there's something like that that you're working on, what we don't want to do is reinvent the wheel. Yeah. We'd like to take your best practices and put them in place in northern and mid-Michigan. So, so when I first started this position four years ago, um, there was not a group like this. And I actually started the group, and I hate the name. We named it MEEP, <laughs> Michigan Education Employer Partnership. It's not a nonprofit, it's not a for profit, we don't pay dues, we just come together. Mm -hmm. So basically, I wanted to meet everybody in the entire state of Michigan similar to my role. There's not another internship developer in the entire state of Michigan. That is my sole job. A lot of them, they'll be advisors working with interns. But I do have a group that meets about every three months um, at various schools. It involves all of Grand Valley, U of M, Central, all the schools. Uh, we come together and talk about best practices. But it'd be good to, to, to talk about that um, and get things together. It makes sense. And one thing uh, that I'll add to that is a lot of these smaller schools, which I'm trying to help too, you're right, these businesses um, that are coming from California, from Texas, wherever, are picking two schools, usually, mm -hmm. sometimes one. Good thing where I'm at is they are picking Michigan State and U of M, where we are big schools, so they get bigger numbers. But these smaller schools uh, are getting lost. The businesses aren't getting there. So um, I'd love to, to help out the, the schools and, and talk to you more about that. Yeah, but we find that a lot of it is just kind of the information exchange. You might have a student that is from Traverse City and they attend Central Michigan University in Mount Pleasant, but there could be a summer inter internship right in Traverse City. How would they even learn about it? Yeah. Otherwise, so that's what we're trying to do is be that kind of information. Part. Well, I'm very familiar with the program too, right. so we can talk Perfect. more about that. Too. Good. Okay. Um, my second question, Paul, is as responsible business owners, what do you expect us to provide interns, apart from um, practical experience and learning? What are some of the other things that you really should be encouraging us as responsible business owners to be providing? Um, 
one thing is to, to teach them professionalism. We, we try to do that as much as we can. Um, we do have etiquette things, things to wear. And I was going to throw a picture up of this, the, the intern that maybe some of you have seen that you don't want. <laughs> they walk into the front area and you know, short shorts. Or, we see them in career <laughs> fairs too and we try to help them out. But teach them to be professional. Teach them to, to um, um, one thing we try to do is, is they're representing Michigan State. So if they're coming into a company, if I get you an intern, they come in and you say, no. It's not the student usually. It's, you know, I got a horrible student from Michigan State. I'm not coming back to Michigan State to grab another student. They represent all of these numbers. So um, we try to be as patient as we can. So I guess if you can help us be a little patient. Not everybody's a good fit. I mean, I'll be exactly for that position that you hired them for, but maybe it's one thing I see with the students when I say they're sitting there in human resources and saying, I got hired and fired, but whatever he's doing, I think I want to do that. So maybe open up their eyes to some other things. Hi, I'm a shifting years graduate. One of the things I was going to ask you is um, a number of my classmates and the people after me are doing internships. And does Michigan State, like for your office or anything, have any uh, internships available for alumni or older people? I'll, I'll give you a little hint. When I made this, so our my smart career is exclusively for for students and grads. Michigan State, you have to have, uh, you have to go to school. But for the app, you don't. So if you get the app, you can see all of the positions that I post. Also. If not all, most, I post most of my positions on my Twitter feed. Um, it'd be an easy way to find those things. And I'm more than happy if you see something out there that you're very interested in to make a connection for you um, and do what I can. But as a university, we really don't have an area that, that uh, serves there, unless you're an alum. Alumni well, Association has parts of that. But I'm more than happy to help. All right, more questions? Um, okay, you know, I actually wanted to make a comment, Paul. I really enjoyed your talk, and uh, you know, I've been finding you talked about the interns who uh, have already graduated and whatnot. You know, we, we run an internship program at my company, and we do get interns who have already graduated college. Why? Because the job market's slow, but also it's very competitive to get jobs. So if you have tangible experience, you're going to get a better job. Um, you know, so one thing that we do as a responsible company, you know, we take interns who have graduated. We actually like them because they're more available, and they're actually really committed. Uh, we've hired some. You know, someone moved into permanent positions, but we also do a really good job, I think, of helping them get placed. Because, um, you know, I use my network to help them get placed, and our interns have been, been placed all over the country at, at really good agencies. So. Uh, I don't know, I, I like the trend, you know, I, I like the internship trend because I think it is a good way, whether you're trying someone out for maybe a permanent position or just giving them experience and they're trading, you're giving them experience and, and teaching them, which is actually a big time commitment, but in, in exchange they're giving you, I guess, uh, free labor, right, which is also beneficial, so it's, it's a beneficial relationship, definitely. So, okay, well I think, I think that's it, so let's give Paul a big round of applause. And we will do introductions, so this is the time where you get to stand up and tell us about yourself and uh, who you are, maybe one of you, a big goal you have for 2012 if you like, and then pass the mic to a friend and we'll go all the way around the room. And we'll start over here with uh, Brian Beecher. Hi, I'm, I'm Brian Beecher. I work at the University of Michigan and do a lot of uh, cloud technology type stuff. Uh, my goal for 2012 is to maybe speak here at this function, <laughs> which is good enough for Hi, good afternoon. I'm Brian Miskinner from 2020 Communications in the Wireless Zone out on Jackson Road. Uh, we are under new management out there, and we're trying to kick butt at that store. And I've got some coupons here. If anybody's ever interested in some coupons for upgrades and uh, accessories in the store. So come on and see us on Jackson Road across from Panera. 
Hello, I'm Melissa Peters. I'm with the Astilby Group here in Ann Arbor, and we help companies get business contracts with the federal government. Um, 2012 goal would be if you all have any suggestions where I can find a gathering of very experienced grant writers, I would really appreciate that. To make a local chapter, an association, a networking event, um, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Howdy, my name is Craig Peters. My company is The Reluctant Networker. Uh, I help people feel comfortable with events like this and get more out of them in the long run. Uh, as far as my goals, I would like to have a few people sign up for my uh, workshop that I'm going to be holding on the 25th. Uh, so if you're interested, I'd love to chat with you. Hi everybody, I'm Stacy from Dollar Bill Digital Print Shop. Uh, we do postcards, business cards, flyers, all that stuff. Fast. Uh, my goal for 2012 is to have a great year, get my daughter driving safely, because she'll get her driver's license, and um, work more with nonprofits. That's We started that last year, got a little bit going, and for 2012, I want to do that big time. Hello, everybody. I'm Carol Kam with Encore Online Resale. We help businesses and individuals find new homes for idle assets and turn into cash in the process. And our big goal for this year is to keep growing that B2B side of the business. So we're looking for businesses that have idle assets sitting around not doing anything that we can turn into working cash. Hello, I'm Ross Johnson with a company called 3.7 Designs. Uh, we offer a range of design and marketing services from websites to mobile websites, uh, Facebook fan pages, so uh, search engine optimization, that sort of thing. Hi, I'm Lindsay Dusak with Metalfet Media, and I'm a designer and a website developer. Hi, <coughs> excuse me. Hi, I'm Amy Ma. Um, I do a number of things. Um, one is um, a website for B2B um, jewelry uh, marketing, and another one is uh, publication of uh, children's books in uh, multiple languages. And I also work with several uh, alternative energy things like um, solar thermal and uh, a new technology for um, coal burning um, power plants. Hi, I'm Scott Lindsay with the Lindsay Exhibit Group. We design and fabricate trade show displays and exhibits, and I'll be in touch with Paul very soon. I think we got to go the intern around quickly. Uh, my name is Wayne Aker. I'm a web developer specializing in Drupal-based websites. Hi, I'm Rebecca Rappin. I am the project manager over at Ingenix Digital Marketing. We are a full-service digital marketing agency. Hi, my name is Sarah Marabon. I'm financial advisor with Ameriprise and also I am economist. We help people to reach their financial goal, the busy professional people that they don't have time, reach their financial goal, whatever it is.
afternoon. Uh, Yost Alari. I am uh, here representing a project that I'm personally very involved with called the Divorce Expo. That's my uh, immediate goal to make the Divorce Expo a uh, success in March, the end of March. What I'm looking for is to connect with uh, various businesses that are providing services to people going through uh, divorce as a life-changing event. Uh, so think broad. It's not just legal, it's not just financial, it's moving, it's real estate, it's personal health and self-confidence, all of those types of things. I'm Bud Gibson. I started the search marketing program at Eastern Michigan University. And uh, my goal for the coming year is actually to continue increasing our interaction with the local business community. We've had several successful projects over the last year, in particular the search marketing workshop in November where a number of people attended from this room and uh, we're looking to make that bigger and better uh, in the coming year. Hi, I'm Dennis Kupinski. I'm a Shifting Gears graduate and I'm also in sales and marketing. I'm Mike Morris. I've, uh, I'm an engineering manager. I, I'm an engineering manager. I have 25 years uh, experience uh, uh, building and engineering uh, machine vision systems. I'm uh, starting a new company with, which will be uh, creating software to take machine vision to the next level in 3D. I'm Roger Rail. Uh, I do a lot of things, but uh, lately I've been doing a lot of video, live streaming, and recording, which I'm doing right now. I'm also <laughs> testing out a webcam that probably not going to use very much because it's kind of crappy. <laughs> but um, uh, I had Mike come because uh, he's going to help along with Dennis. He's going to help me uh, do the video for the ACE uh, event this year at Skyline at the end of the month, uh, January 31st, the uh, annual collaboration for entrepreneurship. There's uh, two session, two sessions of uh, two sets of. Uh, uh, four concurrent sessions, so uh, uh, we need, I, I can't be two places at once, or four places at once, so uh, I'm coordinating the video for all of the ACE events, and I can always use more people to help with the various uh, one-hour events in the middle of that, uh, the ACE uh, event, and um, I also need um, I think we got enough cameras, but I need uh, maybe another computer or two with FireWire. So if you've got a Mac or a PC with FireWire port that you want to bring and let us use that day. Because we're going to try to live stream all the events. We'll, we'll see if Skyline has enough bandwidth for us. Uh, but it, 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 we can at least try to do that. And uh, But if you want to help out, see me afterward. Hi, I'm Bob Shannon. I'm a local CPA, and I specialize in helping small businesses and startups with their financial planning, their um, accounting work, and tax and tax planning. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dave Murray, the big guy at Good Stuff Studios, <laughs> and my New Year's resolution is to get taller. <laughs> Oh uh, no, the reason I say these things, of course, is to get everybody's attention because that's what Good Stuff Studios does for all of you with our bold graphics. So if you guys need some business cards, brochures, websites, logos, product photos, I can keep going, but it bores me. Uh, let me know. Uh, something else that I don't talk about much is that we work on the look side of branding. So we try and make sure everybody has a consistent look. So if you or someone you know has a white business card, a black pamphlet, and a future website, let me know and we'll get that straightened out for you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary Lou Olds, and um, I'm a licensed life and health insurance agent. So if you have any questions on those topics, I'd be happy to help you with anything along those lines. I also sell advertising for AnnArbor.com, and I'm a freelancer. <coughs> Uh, I'm Jim Castrava. I'm the uh, project leader for the Intern Central Program at the Mid-Michigan Innovation Center in Midland. And my goal for 2012 is to uh, build this network of institutions, academic institutions that have interns and connect them with the uh, corporations that might need interns throughout uh, Mid and Northern Michigan. Hi, I'm 
Carter Sherlock from Print Studios, and I'm a commercial editorial and portrait photographer. Thanks, Carter. And my name is Derek Maribon, CEO of Ingenix Digital Marketing, and I also teach at Michigan State University, which is quite an honor. I'm a Spartan, and I have a new book coming out in a week or so, which I'm pretty excited about. So, uh, lots going on, lots going on. My goal for 2012, well, that's a tough question, but uh, just continue to do things that you know, positively impact clients and the community, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm pretty sure I can do. And uh, I want to, let, let's do the one more round of applause thing for Paul. It was a great talk. Thanks for coming down, Paul. Hope you enjoyed it. And tell some of your other Spartan compadres if they want to come speak, all right? And uh, now Dee Davies going to finish this up here. I'm Dee Davy, Creative Ideas Marketing. I help businesses improve their revenues, and I've been doing that for over 25 years. Clients come to me when they're frustrated because they know they need to do something different. They might see their customers are leaving or competitors springing up, and they know they need something. They know they need to do something different to improve their revenues and grow their business, but they're not quite sure. D. Davy, Creative Ideas Marketing. I am also the voice of Lunch Ann Arbor Marketing, and it's my pleasure to introduce next week's speakers. We have an unusual topic. Um, we have Deb Nystrom and J.P. Peterson, who are going to come and talk about blogging and curation. And if any of you have not heard the term curation before, it's really aggregating information. You might know it by other names as um, paper.li or pearl trees. Um, and some of the uh, LinkedIn news feeds, but it's um, just ways that bloggers are starting to consolidate information and then repurpose it. So um, some really interesting transitions in social media space and uh, come listen to Deb Nystrom and JT Peterson talk about blogging and curation next week here at Lunch Ann Arbor Marketing. See you then. Thank you.